Hello everyone, good evening and welcome back once again. First of all, thanks for subscribing my channel. This is a small announcement on the new AWS batch I'm planning to start from 1st of February. Let me quickly share the details for the same. So if I go back to my blog here, so you must have cloud under blogs, the latest one. You have a few details related to the next batch which I'm planning to start. And the timing is morning 8 to 9.15, right? So it's going to be one hour 15 minute session you can join the initial free demos by clicking this link simply and let's have a look at the course content later and you can drop me an email or you could call me on whatsapp or you can call me on on this number if you have any questions related to the training program it's going to be monday to saturday and i would need roughly around two months to cover off the whole program and the prerequisites are as i mentioned very simple any sort of uh, administration or on-premise uh, infrastructure knowledge will be value add if you have a traditional administration knowledge it will be uh, definitely uh, value add uh, along with this training right so on the fee as i mentioned it's going to be 15000 if you go with the installment then you'll get a 2000 discount if you go with the single payments 13000 so the well, current batch uh, group i have created over here on the whatsapp so you can join and uh, co collaborate with the other uh, students as well uh, Okay, and some of the demo videos are mentioned over here, so you can go through the previous recordings and let's quickly take a look at the course content. What I'm planning to cover in this training is only SysOps engineering and uh, SysOps administration, I would say, yeah, and architect, uh, solution architect associate. So these are the two programs I'm planning to cover. Obviously, we'll start with the basics. What is AWS and what things we need to make sure when you are working with AWS and other, other cloud services, right? Then I will talk about networking. So VPC and your route tables, subnets, and then security groups and, and NACLs and stuff that we will discuss over here. Then we'll talk about firewall, DNS, and other stuff, site-to-site and point-to-site VPN configurations, transit gateway, pairings, and then uh, troubleshooting related to the networking. That is what we focus here on the networking side. Once that is done, we will jump on to computing. So when I say computing, EC2 instances and container services and then other stuff, we're going to focus here. Now, once that is done, we focus on high available solution designing. When I say high available solution designing, we'll talk about network load balancer and application load balancer and, uh, and route 53 and other stuff and also scaling. part. So that is uh, on the high availability side. When it comes to day-to-day -day operations, you'll use a couple of AWS system manager services and other uh, in incorporated services like endpoints and uh, the other stuff that we're going to cover off here in this section. Now, once that is done, we'll jump on to storage. We'll talk about S3, Glacier, how you will manage the storage within the AWS and what sort of scenarios that you will see, what sort of troubleshooting that you will see in the AWS side that we'll try to discuss over here. Once that is done, we'll talk about the past databases, the RDS and other NoSQL databases like DynamoDB and Redshift and other stuff that we will see. And uh, in-memory database like LS Cache or Redis in, in the traditional way how we use and how that can be used in the AWS environment that we will focus here. Right. So once that is done, we'll talk about day-to-day -day operations. When I say day-to-day -day operations, monitoring, troubleshooting, reporting, and other stuff. So we'll focus on CloudWatch dashboards, alarms, and CloudWatch logs and integrating that with the Lambda and infrastructure as a code with the Terraform versioning and GitHub and then AWS Cloud Trail and Cloud Config and uh, Ops work, how, it, how you can use the Ops works and other stuff that we will focus here, right? So all our small, small independent components that we will try to put into our different, different scenarios and test it out. Once that is done, we focus on security, how you can provide the security and other stuff. Uh, when I say security, IAM uh, identity center, right? So and then Active Directory integrations, how you will use the uh, resource uh, access manager or guard duty or KMS and other uh, AWS services in order to provide the security to your resources which are hosted in the AWS environment. Okay. So once that is done, we'll talk about developer solutions. When I say developer solutions, how you can uh, deploy or uh, configure or manage the container applications or Docker applications, I would say, or how you will roll out those uh, images on the, that, that we have built in the Docker into EKs or ECS environments and how you will set up the Fargate and other stuff that we will discuss over here. So once that is done, we'll talk about migrations. 
you have an on-premise customer environment where a customer want to migrate to AWS, you will use certain AWS tools to migrate from on-premise to AWS. How that can be done that we will see practically. Then once that is done, we'll talk about developer tools, AWS code commit, code build, code deploy, and other uh, integrated services, how you can use them and deploy the day-to-day, -day, uh, deploy the uh, applications or infrastructure using these components that we will try to test it here, right? And apart from that, we'll talk about Terraform, ARM template, uh, sorry, cloud formation templates, and uh, how you can de uh, deploy these things in the AWS environment without any uh, say manual intervention, right? So how you can automate those deployments and stuff. We will focus here, and once that is done, at the end we will talk about what sort of day-to-day -day activities that one one will perform, right? What kind of troubleshooting? What kind of uh, requirement gatherings or what kind of uh, uh, solution designing that any anyone can perform within the AWS that we will review at the end of the training. Also, what is a certification roadmap and how we can try for a job after practicing these sessions, right? So that we will address at the end. So as I mentioned over here, majority of these sessions would be hands on a real time training sessions. So please utilize the time. The batch is going to start from 1st of February morning 8 to 9.50. So thanks for your time and I'll see you on the demo day. Thank you all.